breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unam Dekanu sent strong message to IPOP members from DSSNet. Unam Dekanu sent strong message to IPOP members from DSSNet. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Be Afra News, Nunam Dekanu has sent a strong message to IPOB members from the DSS net. News Online report that the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unam the Kanu in a message to IPOB on Friday, revealed that enemies against the struggle for Biafra Republic were already coming together to stop it and advised his legal team to be strong, not to be distracted. Kano made this statement to newsmen in Oweri through the IPOP's lead council if you are in a geofo. After the legal team visited Kano at the detention facility of the Department of State Services DSS last Thursday in Abuja, the IPOB leader said the enemies were not happy because they saw at the end of the battle would became a victory for the IPOB. According to the IPOB, lawyer, the court ordered routine visit to our indefatigable client, Onyedu Mazi Unamdekanum was observed yesterday toward March 2022. After days, which turned into weeks of grandstanding, we were able to meet with our client on Yedu Mazi Unam Dekanu in his unshaken, undeterred resolve. Onyedu was in high spirit yesterday. Onyedu took time to explain why he protested against the denial of access to his lawyers during the last three successive visits. He was deeply troubled with those incidents, particularly when it was done in flagrant disregard and violation of extant orders of court. We understood on Yedu's groups and seized the opportunity to intimate him of the measures we have taken so far to ensure that such ugly accident does not reoccur. Oyedo used the opportunity to offer advice and words of encouragement, particularly to myself. It took his time to urge me to remain resolute and focused, and never to be distracted by the deliberate evil ploys of the enemies to break me. Indeed, Oyedu saw tomorrow. Unknown to him that at the time he was handing down these words of encouragement and encomium, the slander mongers were already putting together another stunt, which was, however, dead on arrival. Oyedo particularly encouraged me to be strong and even more stronger in the coming days. He said that I should expect more and more slander, but I should be assured that himself and Omu Chineke will always be there for me. We all agreed that this is a very critical period as victory is staring on our faces and any opportunity offered to be distracted will take us back because these enemies are united in the in their resolve for their evil plot are all surmountable, hyper lawyer said. News Online Report 
that the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Unnamdi Kanu, in a message to Hypop on Friday, revealed that enemies against the struggle for Biafra Republic were already coming together to stop it and advised his legal team to be strong, not to be distracted. Kanu made this statement to newsmen in Nowedi through the IPOB to through the IPOB's lead council, if you are in a Jofo. After the legal team visited Kanu at the detention facility of the Department of State Services, DSS, last Thursday in Abuja, the IPOB leader said the enemies were not happy because they saw at the end of the battle would become a victory for the IPOB. According to the IPOB, lawyer, the court ordered routine visit to our indefatigable client, Onyedu Mazi Unamdekanu, was observed yesterday, 3rd March 2022. After days which turned into weeks of grandstanding, we were able to meet with our client Unyedu Mazi Unamdekanu. In his own shaking, undeterred resolve, Onyedu was in high spirit yesterday. Onyedu took time to explain why he protested against the denial of access to his lawyers during the last three successive visits. He was deeply troubled with those accidents, particularly when it was done in flagrant disregard and violation of extant orders of court. We understood Onyedu's growth and seized the opportunity to intimate him of the measures we have taken so far to ensure that such ugly accident does not reoccur. Oyedu used the opportunity to offer advice and words of encouragement, particularly to myself. He took his time to urge me to remain resolute and focused, and never to be distracted by the deliberate evil ploys of the enemies to break me. To so my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.